it's been a long time again <laughs> and today i'm here with another collab it feels like i say that in every video now it feels like i'm so far away and that is because i was and yeah i have this on because i have washed my hair and i have obviously done my base and gumbal is obviously home <laughs> and yes Today, I'm going to play with this palette. I have never used it before. It's the Impulsive palette from Melt. And I bought it from the website because it's the only place you can buy it. It looks like this. I've, showed, I've shown it in my haul, right? So it has these, these, these levels, you know. So it looks really weird and chunky. So when you close it, it's like, pff. and it is a bit annoying because I don't want, you know, if I use this, the shadows will blend. So you have these plastic things to put on, but that, that's just annoying. Yeah. But anyway, today is collab uh, with Katie from Makeup for Lost Time. I have collabed with her before on the Blush Tribe Farewell, and that was her idea, actually. And I have been following her ever since she started her channel, and I found her through... The Paulina collab because she did a video uh, later on that we put in the playlist so you can find it there and I just watched it and I just love her <laughs> she has such an amazing personality she's so it's like it's no bullshit bullshit sorry um she has uh, been an addict before and she has talked about that so it's not like I'm outing her or anything uh, but uh, she's a recovering addict and I think that is amazing that she tells her story and you know inspire others and you know it doesn't have to be people with the same problems you can inspire people anyway and she has such a, a cool personality I would love to hang out with her she's so much cooler than me <laughs> uh, and uh, it's like she swears a lot and say things that some people don't say on their channels, but I love that. Uh, the only reason I don't do that is because English is not my first language. So it doesn't come naturally to me to swear or curse or anything in, in English, but in Swedish I do all the time, you know. And I, I just, I can't tell you how much I love her channel. And it's always linked down below, but now it's on the you know in the top so go watch her uh, videos she has she has great content she you know try out new palettes and do amazing looks amazing looks so yeah you just you have to go check her out can you promise me that you will go check her out if you don't already have done it of course oh my god so let's just put on because i always forget to put on eye primer and isn't it fun, you know, the Lime Crime Highlight Palette in Opals? That's one of my, no, it's my, yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite highlighters. And I have all of the highlighter palettes, but that is my favorite. And I have been wanting a new one because the pink is almost broken and it's my favorite. And now I ordered one with Madeleine. And just when she says that she has, it has arrived. Look, I don't know if I can show you, but can you see it broke? I don't know how because it was just laying like this but my favorite shade the pink one has <laughs> it's broken so I'm so happy that I have a new one and it looks like this if you didn't know I'm so warm <laughs> yeah I didn't tell you the collab is about the impulsive palette from melt and we decided to do that because we both have a lot of melt palettes and I love melt as a brand they make really cool stuff and uh, cool color schemes and everything but sometimes their shadows is a bit hit and miss i loved when they did the stacks and i'm so annoyed because i didn't buy the shapeshifter stack and now i can't find it anywhere which is mm, freaking annoying uh but the palettes have been you know i don't know i have used some shades that i have loved and some shades i haven't loved so we are going to try this out and see, you know, what we think and what we can create. And 
there is a lot of shimmers in this palette there is all the shades on this side looks like shimmers but i think some may be satins and then there are two can you see what i'm doing this one is a shimmer and this one is a shimmer and i would love to use the green but i would really 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 love to use the mustard and the reds make a rusty look i don't know i don't think we will do the same i just have a feeling that katie will use the purples i don't know why probably not but it just feels like that row makes me think of her grungy looks you know that one and uh, she looks good in those colors but should we start with the mustard it's called 2012 let's see i haven't heard so much about this palette and that's also where we took it um it's not one of the ones that are talked about a lot and i can't remember if people like this or not but i think maybe not because there is so many shimmers but and I love mustard shades. Really, really love them. This one worked fine so far. Oh God, I'm sweaty. I am a bit stressed because I'm going away to my boyfriend, which is still weird to say. Um, and yeah, I just love him. He, he's amazing. And I'm going over there because we have... I don't know what it's called in other countries, but in Swedish it's called matkasse. It's basically like a food bag that you get. So you order, for instance, five meals and they pack everything, the exact ingredients and everything and put in the recipe and everything. So you can do it and get inspired. And we got to try that out for free. So we are going to do the second uh, dish from that one today and it's is halloumi the same thing in english as in swedish halloumi you know the cheese i don't know if you don't you have to look it up uh, but we're going to do bur burgers with that anyway and homemade fries And other stuff that I have no idea how to say in English. So I don't see the point of trying. <laughs> I like this shade. Now I'm going to take... I think I'm going to go into Rule Breaker. That one. It looks lighter here on the screen than it does here. And Dream Big, I think. We'll see. And I think I would have the shimmery red on the lid. The shimmers is the ones that I usually have troubles with when it comes to melt. So we'll have to see. No, I don't want that brush for that. Rule breaker. I, I was sitting here wondering if I did a haul for Yoon. You, July, I mean. I didn't do one in July, right? Because that would be... Because I met my boyfriend in July and I don't think I have filmed more than one video. And that was with Andy, I think. I can't remember. So apparently I do two months at a time at my haul right now. Because I did June. Did I do June? No, I can't do July because July is not... Oh, I'm confused. Ignore me, but I will do a haul soon because it's a lot of stuff here. And I'm still waiting on some stuff. Um, that is so annoying. I haven't ordered that much, but I'm still waiting on things I ordered in April and in May. And that is just freaking annoying. I love that shade. That was really easy to use. Let's see if we can use Dream Big. Maybe I'm not taking the hard colors, but we could do whatever we wanted. So I'm doing this. Maybe I will take green on the lower lash line if I feel like it, but I have not decided yet. There is no pink in this palette. 
I don't know why that is confusing. Ooh. No, not going to use that. Stop it. And yeah, I'm still amazed. I'm not going to talk about it so much because it's um, very embarrassing and I don't want to jinx it. But like I said in my last video, but I'm still seeing my boyfriend. And he's so cute. I love him so much. I love him so much. He's like the best thing ever. You know when someone just makes your life complete and you understand why nothing else has ever worked out like the cliche. Well, it's true. So I just hope I won't screw it up. Because I usually do. I thought this shade was going to be a bit darker, actually. It's darker on that side. I'm sorry, I, I know I'm not that interesting today. <laughs> but I'm just off. And all this, the entire year has been off. And it's confusing. Uh, for so, 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 so many reasons. There is so much things going on surrounding everything in my life so you know recording youtube videos haven't been my priority and i haven't watched a lot of videos either and uh, not this month at least <laughs> but i'm not quitting never so that was a weird way of saying it yeah um just so you know but I will not force myself to do it. And I'm going to take Go Getter. I'm so afraid this will be trash. Ooh, but it picked up nice. So maybe not. This is like pinky red. And I'm afraid I will get fallout from this. Right? It's pretty. <laughs> because the other shimmers in this palette are really dark not all of them but most of them oh that was a really pretty shimmery purple mm. how does that swatch the the shimmer i'm using is swatching a bit better than the others I swatched, so I don't know how they would perform, but this one worked out fine. Let's take the other side. <laughs> that. Doo -doo. It's going to be so nice today when I'm filming this. It's Wednesday and this is going up on Friday evening for me i think and we are going to be at my parents house all weekend we are going tomorrow and staying until sunday because they are going away so we are going to spend time there and it's going to be nice because gungval needs to accept um it's so annoying to say my boyfriend but his name is hard to say in english so yeah but the gungval is not on board um really so we have to you know, he has to get used to him. Like that. Now I'm just going to take a bit of uh, the Rule Breaker shade and take on top here. The shimmer doesn't really go with the shades because it's much cooler than the other shades. They are much warmer. But hey, who cares? Uh, I want to have some more yellow. Like that. I really want to try out the green. But the question is if that look weird. Hmm. I'm just going to take some more of this shade. 
stick to my shimmer. It's such a waste to put on this much makeup for what I'm going to do, but yeah, never mind. Let's see, can we use that? No. I'm going to take Game Changer, the light green. Let's see how this performs. Well, not well with that brush. Let's take this brush. That was a bit better. But not excellent. God, that won't stick at all. Game changer, I said right there. What's the name? It's the lightest of the greens. You usually have trouble with the greens, I would say. Really have to pack it on. I don't know if you even can see it. It looks just muddy for you. That's weird. I'm going to take the dark. Profesh, profesh, I don't know. That was a bit better. But now I look like I've had a few bad years here. So I have to lighten up my um, waterline, I think. And I'm going to take some purple. I'm sorry if that is annoying when I do that, but I don't care. Just making the look come together here. And now, since I'm wearing glasses now, I can put on some more because it won't show. I look grungy. And I'm going to do in a corner. Maybe I can take something from this palette for that. Let's take popping bottles hmm. oops that's better not excellent but better like that well maybe I shouldn't expect that much but mm. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go put on eyeliner, mascara and something in my waterline so I don't look like I have mold there. Um, I will be back. <laughs> Sorry for the hair, but <coughs> oops, I'm going to go fix it and I didn't want to get up from the chair. I actually used Melt Cultura Matte Gel Liner in the waterline and so far it looks good it was really easy to use just as the color pop liners and on the lips i am melt mural mural i don't know this one and it's ultra matte it feels really nice actually i was a bit afraid but yeah feels nice let's put that in and this is the finished look and it looks grungy but most looks looks most looks look grungy when you use melt shadows that's just the way it is and especially under here i think some people may think you know you you look like you are having mold under eyes but i really like it and if i have my glasses on it it won't show up that well so I like it and I actually had a great time working with it. The only shade I really had a problem with was that one, the Game Changer. It didn't want to show up under the eye, but maybe it will if you use it, you know, on the lid. And otherwise, I used 2012 and Rule Breaker and Go Getter and Dream Big. And I used popping bottles in the in a corner but it doesn't do much to be honest but those shades were really nice and the shimmer was really good so 
I have nothing to complain about, so it's going to be really interesting to see uh, if Katie had a, have the same um, experience and if she's if she is going to use other shades. But I actually think that she will, <laughs> or I will be totally wrong and we will use the exact same shades. But I don't think so, actually. Um, so that will be really interesting to see. And please go check her out. You will really love her. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. But... And I like the lipstick, you know. Yeah, I I'm, I'm pleased. <laughs> uh, go check out Katie. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. I hope. Bye.